Ladies and gentlemen, today, I want to talk to you about a trait that is the cornerstone of success, the bedrock upon which achievement is built, self-discipline. Self-discipline is the ability to control oneself and to make the necessary sacrifices to achieve long-term goals. It's about doing what needs to be done, even when you don't feel like doing it. It's the difference between those who dream and those who achieve. Think about the most successful people you know. Whether they are athletes, entrepreneurs, artists or leaders, they all have one thing in common, a remarkable level of self-discipline. They understand that success is not just about talent or luck, it's about consistent, focused effort over time. But self-discipline is not easy. In a world filled with distractions and instant gratification, it's tempting to take the path of least resistance. It's easy to procrastinate, to give in to our impulses, to prioritize short-term pleasure over long-term success. But true fulfillment comes from mastering ourselves, from rising above our baser instincts and striving for something greater. So how do we cultivate self-discipline in our own lives? First, we must clarify our goals. We need to have a clear vision of what we want to achieve and why it's important to us. When our goals are meaningful and compelling, we are more likely to stay disciplined and focused even when faced with obstacles. Second, we must create a plan of action. Break down your goals into smaller, manageable tasks and create a roadmap for how you will achieve them. Set deadlines and hold yourself accountable for meeting them. Third, we must develop healthy habits. Success is not an accident. It's a result of daily habits and routines. Cultivate habits that support your goals and eliminate those that hold you back. Whether it's waking up early, exercising regularly, or practicing mindfulness, small actions done consistently can lead to extraordinary results. Fourth, we must learn to manage our time effectively. Time is our most precious resource, and how we use it determines our success. Prioritize your tasks, eliminate distractions, and focus on what truly matters. Remember, it's not about having enough time. It's about making the most of the time we have. Fifth, we must embrace discomfort. Growth occurs outside of our comfort zones. It's okay to feel uncomfortable, to face challenges, to experience setbacks. Embrace these moments as opportunities for growth and learning, and keep pushing forward, knowing that greatness lies on the other side of adversity. And finally, we must cultivate resilience. Success is not a straight line. It's a journey filled with ups and downs. There will be times when we falter, when we feel like giving up. But it's during these times that our character is tested, and our resolve is strengthened. Remember, Setbacks are not failures. They are opportunities to learn, adapt, and grow stronger. In conclusion, self-discipline is the key to unlocking our full potential. It's what separates the extraordinary from the ordinary, the successful from the mediocre. So let us commit ourselves to mastering this essential trait, to taking control of our lives, and to achieving greatness in all that we do. Thank you.